I didn't even see the bottom part. <laughs> Get him, weirdo, we're doing butt stuff. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Hango Nathan. Today we're with Dante Cole. Fucking A. I'm so excited. excited. I'm excited too. I don't think you understand how much I really like fried rice. So. Yeah, I know. I was like, uh, it was very strange when you told me, it's like, just don't put dairy or cheese. And I was like, who, who does that? Hold on, Joe. <laughs> this is too far down because it's cutting off the top of your head. And I'm trying Dish. to like get it back. What are we talking about? I would just start again, maybe, because the- No, I- Hey guys, it's hanging with Nathan. <laughs> I don't know, what's gonna go? Regardless, that's a very good idea. I like, I like, I like where your head's at. Yeah, you just crisp that up and then throw it on top of it. We're making stir-fry, guys. So, yeah. Um, Are we stir-fry or fried rice? Fuck, shit! Fried rice. Making fried rice, guys. Same, same. Yeah, same, same, but different. Um, Dante, you were in the military, right? I was. How long? Only, like, two years. Jeez, that's long. Yeah. They, uh... They didn't like the fact that I had done porn, and being in special forces, they're like, we're exclusive, and we can't have one of you people in, amongst us. They still, um, was it the porn, or was it because of the gay side? Well, it was a little mix of both. So there was like, um, it was kind of a compl good, complicated situation, but they couldn't necessarily kick me out for the porn alone, even though there was uh, security clearance issues with that. Yeah. But they did do more extensive research on my medical history and found out that I had asthma that I was hiding from them. And they're like, oh, well, that's all the reason we need to kick you out. Ah, yeah, damn. Which I'm, I'm very glad about because that was not a healthy decision to do that. Very happy I did it, but... Were you uh, Army? Only, uh, Navy. Yeah. I will only just gotten out last August. Oh, shit. Yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> that's scary. Yeah, it's a fucking long time, man. Yeah, six years, fuck that. You know, I had um, a bunch of buddies that went to the Marines, and I, I was planning to go, uh, try to go to, like, Delta Force Ranger for oh, a long shit. time. Oh, yeah. And I saw them come back, and I was like, I don't know about that, man. They glorify that shit on Crazy on TV. That's how they got me in. I was just like, Navy SEAL, little fucking Navy diver, let's do that shit. And then it's like, serve your country, but then it's just like, you just want to be a badass, and you're like, why am I actually doing this? It's like... <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's gotta be interesting. Yeah. But instead, you decided to do porn. Yeah, actually, I did. Well, I did porn before, and then ah, uh, but yeah, it's a very drastic career change. But I'm quite happy about that. Um, so, question: When? How did you get into porn? Because I also, guys, if you don't know, Dante Cole is one of the. I think one of the more uh, out there crossover performers. It's like you and Lance Hart. Mm. And so I think it's very interesting. Plus, we never had anyone from the uh, the gay side of porn on this show. First one. Um, so I think it's very interesting hearing that side of the story and seeing like um, just how you, how it works over there. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really different. It's totally different. It's much smaller side of the uh, much like smaller. Just to give you guys like uh, perspective, it's like ten percent of the size of straight porn uh, is what they rate it as. I don't know what where they get the numbers, but they say it's about ten percent of the size. So it's much more like smaller community, and everybody like really knows each other. It's a lot less drama. It's just kind of like you're all there to work. Y'all just kind of you know whatever. Uh, whereas like being on the straight side is like it's very much like what we call the thirteenth grade. So it's like high school, you know. <laughs> Uh, I was like, what do you mean by that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you never yeah. heard that? I've never heard that. That That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Because I, I always just say it's just like high school, but... um, Because it's like, you know, you, you do anything and everyone finds out about 10 minutes flat. Oh, know? Jesus, God. It's so <laughs> But yeah, I got in. Uh, I don't know if y'all know Backpage back when it existed. You know Backpage? <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> oh, 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 back then. That's, yeah. It was so long ago. Well, I mean, it was, what, like, got taken down, like, Four or five years ago? Was it four or five years ago? Yeah. It well, was, no, I'm just, it, it's funny how that's an old sentence now. You know, that's what I mean. Yeah. Dave Technology shit yeah. flows through really quickly. But anyway, so I found an ad on there that was like looking for young adult males for adult films, and 18 year old me is like, I could fucking do that. And so I applied, and it was for a gay studio, but they were offering a straight scene, and I was just like, I'll just do the straight scene. And, um, they get me out there and they offer me money to do a gay scene. I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll try it. And then I was just like, hey, let's fucking go. And it was all downhill from there. <laughs> did you um, did you ever uh, mess around with anything uh, like gay or bi before that job? No, I never even uh, kissed the guy before my first scene. Oh, first gay scene. God, that is the name of the best porn right there. What? I never even kissed a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's out there. Yeah, right. 
have you had any like pushback from other like performers or agencies trying to come over to this? Yeah, so it's interesting. The um, no one has ever talked shit to my face, mm. but that says a lot. You know, people don't really do that. Yeah. Um, Not high school. Yeah, exactly. It's like people don't have the balls to talk shit yeah. to you. Um, so I have never really gotten shit from the gay industry. I have gotten shit from the gay fans, but a very small percentage of the gay fans. Mm. Um, which is great, because like, I don't really, if it's a small percentage, then you know, it's not the majority and I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Yeah. Um, but I've gotten backlash from a surprising amount of performers, like, I'll, like, someone, like, I'll get, like, a scene, I, I probably, probably about 10% of the scenes, the straight scenes I get booked, will get uh, canceled because of that, and then it's just like, they'll tell me like, hey, well, it's, you know. Yeah. Because of this, and then I was, I'm just like, okay, like, who was it? And then it's just like people you'd never fucking expect. Oh, yeah. And I'm just like, wait, what? Like, we're friends. Like, <laughs> why the fuck? Like, I can, I totally understand. Like, if someone, you don't want to work with somebody, like, that's fine. Like, yeah. like you should always have the right, like, and no one should ever hate you for not, like, wanting to fuck you. Like, that's, like, life. But when it's, like, for something like being a crossover performer, like, oh, because he probably has AIDS. It's just like, no, you don't get it. Like, it's, it's not a thing. Like, would, would you like to hear what I was told when I first got in the industry? Please tell me. I was told by a gay agent, don't do any gay stuff, don't do anything that looks gay, don't do any stuff because the people will start saying that you have AIDS. That is a direct quote. You said from a gay agent? Yeah. What? He's gay. But oh, he, oh but he's yeah, like, yeah, I think like that does for gay stuff. No, no, he's just a gay guy. Mm. But um, like it was like a thing. It was like, and so I've always been like, in a, like spot that it's like even if people said something like about you, you try to fucking nip that shit in the butt real fast because you didn't want to be put in the same category as the gay performers because mm. the last couple like uh, what are they called when the whole industry shut down? Oh, uh, moratorium. Moratorium was be was from what I was told by other people was because of the trans or the gay community and that's what they said. So they have this in this giant loop of just fear of like not wanting to be put in that same category as people because people won't work with you. Well, well little does everybody know the past three moratoriums all came from the straight side. Yeah, right, I can see that. It was like this. When you do like it, the information eventually gets around like who it was, and yeah. they're all straight performers, and it's just like, like why is this stigma a thing? <laughs> it's yeah. weird. It's just years and years of it, dude. Yeah. I mean, like, and it's and it's the thing is it's getting a lot better. So like, I'm I do not complain. So I'm like, I'm the first guy to ever do this, yeah. and it's just like the fact that I'm able to do this successfully. I'm like, I'm not complaining. Like this, I'm happy to be here. You know? <laughs> no, dude. I mean, yeah. Like and again, the why one of the reasons I want on you on the show because again, you were one of the first guys that actually came out and did it like this, and it was actually being successful. Whether that's because you've actually won awards or because you got put in some bigger stuff, who knows? But like, dude, it's fucking awesome to see that. Because it was it was really weird coming to this industry where I thought it was a very sexual liberating thing to do, and then fuck no, yeah, you get vanilla sex the rest of your life. That's it. And that's just the, that's like straight porn almost. It's like, unless you're going like kink and you do a little more BDSM or anything like that. Well, I think we also take for granted like what we think is vanilla. Like, cause then like, if you ever like go have sex with like someone who's not in porn, mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> I don't, I don't think that correctly lines up. Cause yeah, I, just the might be a little different. <laughs> that's true, that's very true. But like, if you have like sex with someone that's like not in porn and then you just start like doing what you normally do and then it's just like, oh wait, wait, wait I may need to like, bring it back in touch. So like what's vanilla to us is not necessarily that is true. vanilla to like everybody 100%. else. Very true. Because we, let's porn. Get you every time. Yeah, right? <laughs> Buy our stuff, guys. Yeah. I mean, but that's it. I am grateful for this industry because it's like, even though it is restricting for some people, it's like, it's still like giving me a chance to like express like who I am oh. and like let me like do what I want. It's like, I would never have the chance to like learn how to have sex with someone like as well if I had not done this because it's just like you just have the opportunities to and you're put in situations to like try things you've never had or like would necessarily even want to but then it's just like oh we yeah. don't know this ain't so bad you know I learned I like my balls being squeezed when I figured that out and then someone started squeezing I'm like yeah oh, look at that <laughs> you guys will like that now that's awesome have you found anything uh because of set that like all of a sudden you you didn't know you were into and I'm like oh shit now I'm into that um, dude, I just had this thought the other day. Like, I was just like, something. Fuck, oh, boy. Um, I don't. I don't know. I think 
think just like anal in general, like just butt sex in general, I think it's really cool. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, I'm just like that's really yeah, it. yeah. I'm just like it's really cool, but like I don't know how else to like. You know, butt, butt sex is real butt, neat. Butt sex is cool, you know what I'm saying? About this, like we were on set the other day, but you do tell. There was this performer that I worked with, and she was very much into like being very aggressive, and like she wanted me to be like aggressive with her and like choking and like you know just go rough. Like she was very like just like go rough on me kind of a thing. And it was just like a, it was like a, uh, like a family scene, so it wasn't like really necessarily supposed to be rough, but. That's very good. It's fun, right? I don't even think we need the rest of the fried rice. We just no, eat this. Cheers, no. fat. <laughs> Love it. Um, but so I was doing her doggy, and I pick her up, <clears throat> and I grab her by the throat. And I just start squeezing, but like when you <clears throat> when you're like choking somebody, you can kind of like see in their face like when it becomes like getting close to the point yeah. where they may like pass out or whatever. And so I'm doing it. I'm watching her, and I hold her maybe four seconds, and she just drops. I'm like, fuck. Like we're like in the middle of the scene, but like her eyes are wide open, but she just like drops, and she's like, I'm like, dude, what the fuck just happened? And then like she's like, do you guys hear those sirens? I was just like. What sirens? <laughs> and so I was just like, my career's over, that's it, I'm done. And she's like, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, but like, I just I just thought I heard sirens, and I was just, yeah. er, er, we're all like, all the whole crew is like, we're all like looking at each other, like, what's about to happen? But everything ended up being fine, and we, we filmed again after that, we're totally cool with each other, and everything's fine, but it was just very scary. <laughs> oh, sure. I find it very interesting when, uh, because I started like doing the whole choking thing out for a lot, like, I've been doing that for years. And you, I hate getting new girls in the sense because they'll be like, I want you to choke me. And you barely touch the throat and they fucking go out. I'm like, don't, don't talk to me. Don't ever, don't, don't say that shit. If you, if you are just new to this job, I just not going to choke you. I'll, I'll put my hand on your throat. Yeah. It's going to take, it takes time for me to get to that point where I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, I feel like doing stuff like that, it's always better to be like comfortable with that person. Yeah. And like shoot with them a couple times or be with them or like be friends with them at least before. So you have like that level of trust and it's. Yeah, a lot of people will say stuff and then they'll be like, oh, I like this, and then you do it, and then they're like, oh, but not like that. It's just like, oh, man, I, I need to know the limits. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know the limits, and it's like, you you don't know. Here's one thing that I've, I'm not sure if this is the same like gays and straight, but like I get a lot of girls who don't understand their own bodies mm -hmm. and don't know how to make themselves come and don't understand those little particular details. And so I come up to them, like, hey, what do you like, what do you not like, what can I do to make this fun for you? And they're like, let's figure it out. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to just figure it out. I want you to tell me like little yeah. things that you know so we can get through this day a little bit easier, a lot faster. Um, so I'm not sure if it's the same on the gay side, because, no? It's, the gay side's a lot more mechanical. It's very much, it's really weird concept, but it's very mechanical. There's like, the sex is, oh God, this is, this is a whole rabbit hole, but. Yeah, let's go down the rabbit hole. Well, long and short, or as short as possible, basically, like, even though, so like, you know, most, most of the people that do gay porn are gay, you know, there's some straight guys, but even like the most gay men I know that do it have a hard time getting hard or staying hard during a scene. Oh, yeah. Even when we're taking Viagra and stuff, so we're stopping like every couple minutes just to get hard, or stay hard, or whatever, most scenes. So it's, but it's like on the straight side, it's just like, <laughs> on the straight side, it's like a guy is expected to be hard and stay hard the entire team and like, that's it, you know? But it's like, it's so weird that like on the gay side, like guys who are like attracted to each other are just like having so much trouble like staying hard yeah. or whatever. Um, how did we get here? I don't know why I was talking about In that. this world, in this life? Um, no? Oh, you invited me over here. Yeah. This is, good. This is starting to sound like a scene. <laughs> you invited me over here. Where did this drink come from? I'm feeling dizzy. I don't even know who I am right now. <laughs> is this pork? <laughs> it's why you say the thing about like the, uh, like God. When you, need help. Is this pretty still for me? I have I another. You were like, cheers. I was like, that's nice. Uno oh, wait, well, I won't hear you. <laughs> Uno momento. Uno mas, por favor. Oh. Eh. Whatever. Um. What's your plans with this career? Like, do you want to go in for the long haul? I'm um, was uh, they have like a milf version in the fucking gay side? 
Daddy. Is this daddy? Yeah. Just go daddy? <laughs> I guess it makes sense. You gonna go daddy? Uh, yeah, man. You, I got, got, the, you got the beard going in, bro? Yeah, I mean, I could, I've been pulling off daddy since like 21. Cause it's like when I shaved it up, shaved this off, I look like a child. And it's, it's really freaky looking. Um, just, that's the way porn works, bro. Yeah. You want 12? You want 18? Sorry, 18? I got you. Shave. <laughs> I'm 18. I go to high school. I am stepbrother. I'm nice step to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I kind of just take this day by day because it's like we all, any good performer knows that they have a shelf life. Yeah. But we don't necessarily know how long that shelf life is. And I didn't even think I'd be doing it anywhere near this long. So I'm just kind of like grateful to be here where I'm at. And the idea would be to do this for as long as possible. But then again, you know, like this has been, I've worked a lot this year and I've like, oh, you know, it's, I like the idea of slowing down but not stopping by eating, but just kind of like slowing down. And this industry is constantly changing, They're always doing new shit, it's always going in different directions, especially with like stuff like OnlyFans and like oh, most performers are, I don't know how to say most, but like a lot of performers are making most of their money through like content sites and stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's just like a lot, of, a lot of these performers are finding that they don't need content or uh, like studio stuff, which I still believe studios will always have their place because like you need a place to get popularity, hmm. like get your name out there. But um, I don't know, some of those, some of those, some of those, uh, there's a couple, couple or company or couples, I guess it'd be that uh, did on Pornhub where they don't show their face. And oh they yeah, made a killing dude. So like Leo Lulu, like No Face Girl. And... Yeah, yeah, there's some people that have done so good on it. So yeah. it's like good for them, man. Yeah. They didn't need the company. They didn't need anything. Uh, or my friend uh, Madison Morgan. I'm not sure if you remember Madison. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Love her death. Great girl. But she didn't use companies. She just I think webcamming for a little bit. And she blew the fuck up because she's a ginger. Uh, or maybe not. But no. some some people are just like are lucky, and there's they have that it factor. Yeah. And it's just, nobody can like ever put like a perfect science to it, but it's just like they have they have it. Yeah. And who knows what it is, but good for it, them for it's having it. it. Yeah. It's it. Well, How would you kill that person? I beat him to death with his dick. <laughs> Fuck away from me. <laughs> Ugh. And trailer. Trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we we're promoting dread on this. <laughs> oh, sorry. God, cheers. Cheers. Uh, yes. So we just did a movie together. <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah. Uh, it was a really fun movie too. He was my uh, boss. Yeah, I don't know what you would consider that, but yeah, it was just like a. I was he was. Like, he was a famous actor. And he was my assistant that did not deserve the abuse that I gave him. Honestly. I thought you could have gone a little bit worse with it to make it more fucked up. Um, what, what did you have in mind? But like, okay, like, remember, so there's one scene where I come into a room and me and this girl kind of like, we're like through the movie, we hit it off, right? We're like touching hands and he meets both of them. And he's like, the girl that came out here for him and her friend. And he's like, nope, you come with me, bitches. And so I walk up to the room and be like, hey, uh, you know, do you still you want to come down to this party and meet everyone? And the girl that liked me uh, strapped on her clothes all fast. She's ashamed. And at that point, I started handing you your clothes, oh. and I was really hoping you'd just be like this, smack my head and fucking rip it out of just because I was like, <laughs> they just like really played up like the whole thing. We did like like how, we did probably like ten takes of that one thing, and like every time you just like amped it up a little further, like you just like give me like one more, like at first it started with like a shirt, and then you started like giving me the shirt and the pants, and you started folding the pants before you gave it to me. I was like. I thought it was fun. Yeah, dude, it was great. I was like, I was like, I was like dude, my favorite one. I really hope they keep this. But there's a point where he put on his shirt and his collar was popping. I was like, this, trying to fix it. <laughs> This, this was like awesome, like working with people that like really get into the shit. Cause it's like you actually have fun and yeah. you can like build on stuff. Dude, it was the first time I've done a, a feature like this. We did really? a feature for Dorsal, mm -hmm. Dorsal, which is a big a European company, right? Yeah, it's from what Ricky told me, it's like the biggest in Europe. Yeah, the biggest in Europe. A uh, lot of fun. Don't like the condoms, but you know what are you gonna do? Do you ever feel, feel bad about like doing this job, or like ever feel weird? I'm not sure if you grew up religious at all. Like didn't know if that. Uh, mm -hmm. No. Like, do I feel bad like what I might be doing to people that they may not enjoy, or like morally? Yeah, do I feel like bad about morally, because I've had people ask that. Like, do you feel bad morally for this? I'm like, no. Yeah, not one fucking no. bit. No. Um, <laughs> I feel bad for shit that happens in the job because like of uh, like. Just scenarios like mistakes. That yeah, happen. mistakes. Yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, there was a while back where uh, we did a. Uh, uh, no, I'm not gonna go into that one. Yeah, it's just bad days. Yeah. 
Use your imagination. Yeah, use your imagination. It's like, it's, it goes weird. I mean, it's the bottom part. <laughs> Getting weirdo, we're doing butt stuff. <laughs> um, so, like, have you got any awards to this? Like, this job? Like, yeah, like, have you, uh, have you won anything? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How many? Lot, Jesus. Nine. Nine? But it's also like I also have an advantage to get more because I I'm there's oh, more yeah. I'm more like award shows like that I have access to. So it's like on the gay side there's a couple. Um and then obviously on the straight side there's a couple, on the trans side there's one, so it's just like but this year I I won most of my awards. Yeah. But um it's it's been a good good year. Good man, yeah. fucking knuckles on that one. Um how about you? Uh, I've the only awards I've won are online ones. I've been nominated for a bunch, but it like seems like in the straight sides, like you have to kind of wait your turn kind of scenario. Yeah. Um, at least from that's my opinion. Uh, uh, they, yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have won a best male performer in a murder scene. So yeah, yeah, and uh, best villain. Hey, yeah, right. Those are very specific awards. Very, man. very specific. Those uh, are good awards to win. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna be upset. Fucking well, take it. Yeah. Unfortunately, the uh, the best murder scene award, I wish was a real trophy because it was just like it was a chick with big old titties out with like two hands around. Oh, you didn't the neck. actually get a trophy? No, it was like an online one. So it was like, dude, Whack. that is the dopest trophy, and I I wish Can I. Could. You guys just like make one for me real quick, like, right? <laughs> so what are we doing with these? Fat bacon bits. Right, you're gonna find out. Like, just like sprinkle on top. Yeah, it's gonna be a little sprinkle. You should do it like, uh, was it salt daddy or <laughs> what was that guy called? I forget what the guy's name is, but it's yeah, like something know. daddy. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh. He's yeah. fancy. It's just not as, uh, what? Thick just as you thick. doing it. <laughs> <laughs> not as thick as I wanted to be. I don't give a shit. Okay. That's what she said. <laughs> mm. Come on. I dig it. What about it? <laughs> or crunchy bits. Let's try that. Mm. Alright guys, so thank you again for joining uh, another episode of Hanging with Nathan. I'm sure this is not hopefully boring for you yet, but uh, let's see. You know, we're gonna keep trying to put them out. We're keep putting them out pretty soon. Well, hopefully we have more of these cooking episodes uh, in, a, in a months to come. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, follow. Smash that like button. Um, destroy yeah. the notifications <laughs> symbol. Destroy it. Destroy it. If you want to find uh, Dante Cole anywhere, uh, fucking tell me where you find him. Um, What's right there? There you go. You can find me on all my social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, I guess, uh, at Dante underscore C O L L E. And I'm Shadow Man as fuck, so you just gotta go directly to it. There you go. All right. Hope you had a good time. Thanks for having me on, man. No problem. I'm, I'm a very happy little fat boy right now. All right. We're all fat little boys right now. So, talk to you guys all later. Bye bye. Bye.